In the pursuit of success, we are usually taught that we need more fans, more followers, and more subscribers. We need more sales, more customers. In other words, we're always needing more people to do what we want them to do, right? I want you to subscribe. I want you to like this thing. I want you to join my email list. I want you to buy my thing. It's always more um, self-centeredness, in other words. And maybe that's why so many of us dislike marketing and dislike how business is often done, especially online. The drawback is also there for the business owner who's doing that, for the marketer who's doing that, because it's the person who is always pursuing more is always in competition with all the other very cunning marketers, very clever and sometimes not very ethical business owners who are also trying to get more. And so it becomes a dog eat dog world. And which is why so many of us heart based people don't want to, um, are, are a bit disillusioned by business and, and marketing, etc. Well, I hope that I can show you a different way. I talk about what I call authentic business. And by the way, before I go on, I want to just say hello to my dog here, buddy. He's uh, leashed with me today. I'm, I'm on the walk by myself. And so I'm going to have to take, watch him while I do these videos. So authentic business is about being authentic to our deeper self, our higher self. In the moments when you are feeling you know, well fed and, and you've slept enough and you have a perspective of the world that you're really happy with, in your authentic higher or deeper self, you want to bring more love into the world. And that is how authentic business can be done as well. And I think that's how authentic businesses succeed is instead of always seeking more fans and more subscribers, more sales, we focus on bringing more love, bringing more caring into business and into how we relate to our audience. And this is in everything. Bring more caring and love and your authentic self into your content, which is what I try to do. Bring more caring and love into understanding your audience. If you care so much about your audience, that means you want to understand them better and how to serve them better. So instead of thinking, gosh, I need, if only I had 10,000 email subscribers, if only I had a million fans or something like that, what about your existing email subscribers? What if you have your existing network? What about your existing fans and people who care enough to follow your content, even if it's a few? Can you, are you willing to care enough about them to get to know them because they are a representative of your future fans and all the people who could follow your content, buy your products and services? Are, do you care enough to have conversations with the few, get to know them better, see how you can better serve them, see how they are not being served by the businesses that they buy from? See what kinds of problems they have, they're going through that they're trying to find a solution for. Because if you care enough to know those things, you can create the product or service that they need. Or you can find somebody who is pro uh, providing a better product or service that they themselves, that, that your, your audience isn't uh, aware of yet. And you can, earn in, you can earn some money from sharing those products and services. So instead of more fans, more followers, etc., let's aim to care more and you will enjoy your business more and everybody truly will win.